Hi, this is Pat with Right Channel Radios. One of the most common questions I get asked is how to properly install a CB antenna stud onto a CB mount. Now, there's multiple types of antenna studs because there are multiple types of coax cables, and we're going to go through each style of antenna stud and coax and show you how to install the stud onto the mount and how to attach the coax to the proper stud. This is the PL259 antenna stud. This is probably the most common stud you'll see, and uh, it matches up well with the PL259 coax cable. It'll arrive in a package like this if it's not already on the mount, and you can see there are five distinct pieces. There's the lower threaded part, or threaded connection, the nylon washer, flat washer, lock washer, and then on the top side, there's a double-sided nut. We're gonna remove this and then install it onto the mount. Keep in mind, it's extremely important that all these parts go in the same order. Otherwise, you'll end up uh, probably grounding out your antenna. So, this antenna stud and this part is an important portion. This threaded connection here that goes up and through the mount is actually a positive connection. Well, the outside barrel down here is uh, the ground, the negative connection. And you'll see on this stud, there's some nylon that goes around the center that isolates this from the outer connection. You can see this is also where the center pin of the coax goes through, and then the outer braid of the coax will be touching this outer threaded connection. That's very important. So on the underside of the mount, here's an antenna mount, and so you'll just take that, pop it through the hole. The next part is the nylon washer. Now it's extremely important that the nylon washer goes through, and then also the nylon washer has a small lip on it. You have to make sure that the lip seats down into the hole on the mount because that's what's going to keep this um, center portion centered uh, and keeps it from sliding to the side because if it slid to the side and contacted the grounding portion of the mount then it would ground out your antenna. Um, that's also a half inch hole. Then next would be your flat washer, then your lock washer, and then your double sided nut. Thread all these together. Make sure that the lip on that nylon washer is seated down into the mounting hole. See here, there we go. So that's all on there properly. Um, if you had added any washers on the underside, then what would happen is you'd create a connection between that center portion of the antenna stud and the mount, and you would ground it out. So it's extremely important that everything's in the right position. Once it's all done, you just take your PL259 coax cable, put the centered pin in the bottom, and thread it on. This is the Fire Stick Fire Ring CB antenna stud. This is a really popular product that we sell, but it can be one of the more tricky ones to install. This is designed to be compatible with the Fire Ring coax cable, which I'm showing you right here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how this installs. Now, one thing to note, there are four, or actually, excuse me, five specific pieces on this. There's a double-sided nut, a lock washer, a flat washer, a nylon washer, and then just a bolt. Um, that will go up and through the entire assembly. Let's go over how this installs. So you can see there's five specific parts to this antenna stud. On the top you have this double-sided nut, followed by a lock washer, a flat washer, and then a nylon washer, and then a stainless steel bolt. So these are all the parts in the cable. Now one thing that's unique about the fire stick firing coax cable is you can install it on the uh, upper side or underside of the mount, so on the top side or the bottom side of the mount, depending on kind of what your, what your needs are. The most popular place to put it is, is on the bottom of the mount, so we'll go over that first. One thing to notice about the fire stick firing coax is that there's actually a lip on one side. So you want to make sure that the side that has the, the nylon lip seeds inside the hole on the antenna mount. That's very important because that isolates the antenna from grounding. Also, you can see these metal rings on each side of the cable. The side, um, the metal ring on the side of the lip, that is actually the grounding or the outer shield um, connected to the outer shield of the coax cable, which is a grounding portion. And you have to sure, be sure that that marries up with the mount because your mount also needs to be grounded. And that's how you provide a proper ground connection to your coax. So we'll do it like this. We'll go ahead, we'll run the bolt through. The bolt on this is a positive connection because it's touching the positive portion of the coax cable. On the opposite side, you have to first have the other nylon washer. Make sure the lip of that nylon washer is also facing down. Then you have your flat washer, lock washer, oops, 
and double-sided knot. Those all thread together and you just have to make sure that everything is properly seated and that the lips of both the nylon washer and the coax are seated in the hole properly. So that's it mounted on the other side, underside. To do the opposite, very simple. We're just gonna move the parts around, take this off, dump those off. So we just would take the coax cable, take that bolt out of there. The coax would go on the top, again, the lip seats into the hole. And then on the opposite side, you would have your nylon washer. And then you would have your lock washer and then your flat washer lock washer and your flat washer they'd run right through and then the double-sided nut and in the same way that the coax or that the bolt on the underside was touching the positive portion when it's on the top side the double-sided nut touches that positive portion and you get your ground via that method and you still have the antenna coax getting its proper ground on the mount and so depending on what your needs are, that is how you install a fire stick firing uh, coax cable on a fire stick firing antenna stud. This is a lug CB antenna stud. Right away, you can notice that there are two nylon washers on this and two flat washers, as opposed to the other firing and PL259 cable that just had one of each. And we will show you how to install this and why there are those additional pieces. So first, we're gonna go ahead and just remove the double-sided nut, remove one of the uh, nylon washers and one of the flat washers. Here's the mount, just like everything else, you wanna make sure that the lip on the nylon washers fits to the inside of this, the hole on the CB antenna mount. The opposite side will also have a uh, nylon washer, then the flat washer, and then the antenna stud like so. Now I'll have to dip, disassemble this in a second to get the coax on there, but you can see how those two nylon washers sandwich the mount and essentially isolate the entire antenna stud from grounding. Now that's done because this is a ring and terminal coax cable. So in this, the ring connection is gonna attach it down here by this bolt. You actually could attach it up on the top too, but we're gonna attach it down by the bolt. And then the spade connection, which is connected to the outer shield on the coax cable, this spade is the ground connection and this can attach you know a lot of uh, mounts you'll see have this little and we get asked this question all the time hey what's that little screw on the side for this is for a ring and terminal coax cable it comes with just a screw and a and a um, locking bolt and you would just attach the spade there however you can also attach the spade you know to one of the mounting bolts if you wanted to or you can take the spade and actually attach it directly to the metal on your vehicle but for the ring you would attach the ring typically between, the, just really next to the bolt. Um, I normally will just put the ring just right there between the lock washer and the bolt and you get nice continuity there. Um, but you could really put the ring anywhere between any of the metal, port, metal parts on the antenna stud and be okay because you're gonna get that positive connection there. So again, this is, you know, the ring and ter terminal, keep in mind the ring and terminal is the only one that uses two nylon washers. So there it's hooked up like that. And then again, the spade connection or ground connection is gonna go, you know, either just right here to the mount, to this bolt. I'm not gonna tighten that up right now, but you'll get the idea. It goes to the bolt. It can go to one of the mounting bolts. It can go direct to the vehicle. This just has to be grounded. And then this, of course, is isolated from grounding. So that's how you install a ring and terminal coax onto or, and a lug stud onto your mount. If you're looking for a setup for your vehicle, or if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at rightchannelradios.com.